Hello, everybody, and welcome back to House Flipper, the series where I get to tell you all about my childhood traumas. <laughs> um, I did not expect the, the last episode to be that way. I, I really, really didn't. Uh, um, hopefully it didn't turn anybody off. But um, in this episode, we are not going to do any of that. Actually, in fact, I believe this episode is going to be quite short uh, because we have two very short jobs and then one that's a little bit longer. Um, so you guys are going to get a little bit of a break today. Uh, the first person that we are going to work for, if I can find her, um, is Catherine S. Trees need cutting down. Hi, I've got some trees on my lot. My grandfather planted them. They've grown so big they've overshadowed the entire lot. Nothing's growing underneath them and I've been dreaming of a flowery garden and catching some sun on my deck. I need you to cut down at least two of them. Can I count on you? Oh, and I really want a small pond by the deck. All that's needed is to remove the trees and place a pond. I'll take care of the flowers myself. Thanks, Catherine S. So remember when I said that the exteriors of the garden expansion uh, didn't really look so good? This one actually isn't so bad. <laughs> I kind of like Catherine's house. It's really nice. And she has uh, hydrangeas, which are my favorite flower. So um, we like Catherine. She's... Uh, she's good people like i said before this is going to be an extremely short episode <laughs> because the tasks that we have to do are not that involved um i believe this this may be the only job that requires you to chop down trees too and i wanted to show this because you know oh that would have been terrible i'm so glad <laughs> the windows didn't just shatter the jobs in this episode really aren't as involved as some of the other ones. Um, so, you know, I probably could have spaced this out a little bit better and maybe put one of these in one of the longer episodes, but it just kind of worked out. And this is a fun job to do, even though you don't get to do it very much. You can actually go around her yard and cut down all of her trees. Um, she doesn't fault you for that. Like, you don't lose money because you did that. <laughs> but, um... We're going to be nice to her. She has a very nice yard and, you know, she deserves exactly what she asked for. Um, so this pond is a little bit weird. Um, I'm thinking in terms of her wanting to plant things around it. Um, blue, I, or that's gray, isn't it? Oh, geez. I thought it was blue. So forget it. We might just go with white. We could do red to match the stone of her deck. But uh, I'm going to keep it neutral just because she, uh, like she said, she wants to plant flowers around it. Um, so I'm going to put it a little bit further away from her deck. Um, but yeah, you do this exactly like you would any other plant or a pool. Um, but instead of a giant hole in the ground, it's just a pond. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the same, it's the same thing same process um it looks really weird right now but i imagine you know if she had her big garden to put around it uh this will look so much better and she already does a great job as you can see so we're not going to start this job for her all of what we needed to do is done and uh <laughs> yeah that's it for Catherine s You know, I always have to say something about the uh, before and after photos, but um, <laughs> I do think it's funny that uh, they take about 30 pictures of that backyard, but uh, they can't, they sometimes leave out the rooms that you actually redo. <laughs> oh, mercy, this game. I still don't understand uh, why or how they pick the, uh, pick the things that they do. Um, so the next job, I keep looking at the gray ones. I shouldn't be looking at those. I should be looking for green. But the next one is Bella Rose. One little thing to complete my part of heaven. <sighs> this is a long email, so... <clears throat> Hello, darling. I hope I guessed your gender right, because on your business card, I couldn't find your name. Company name only. I'm in love with my little, cute, charming English garden. 
I can spend all my time, every single moment here. Oh, just perfect. My garden is darling. I love all the plants that harvest here, and these plants feel my love too, and they grow up to be big and strong. There's only a single thing that is not perfect in my little part of heaven. It's a pergola. To be precise, the lack of a pergola. And this is my problem, darling. I desire a pergola in my heaven. A real lady like me is not supposed to take the heavy, dirty hammer in her delicate hands. A lady like me cannot let her skin touch the rusted spikes that can cause a deadly wound or, oh my gosh, I cannot imagine it, scratch the sensitive skin and leave a cruel scar visible for the rest of my life. Oh, even when I'm writing about it, I feel like I'm going to pass out, darling. I will not be able to live with a scar like this. So, there is my request. I need a strong, masculine, and gallant man like you to protect my sensitive skin from this terrible fate and fulfill my pergola dreams. 10,000 kisses, Bella Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses. <laughs> if you are a woman, you can fulfill my request too, but I think it is not okay to get your hands dirty by a job like this one. It isn't something that should be done by dainty beings like us. You should really rethink your life and what you are doing, young lady. Do you really want to waste sensitive feeling? <laughs> Do you really want to waste the sensitive feeling of your skin for money? For this kind of stuff, we have men, don't we? <laughs> She's f***ing ridiculous. <laughs> so, basically, if you're a woman, you cannot do this task. Um, so the game actually, like, knows when uh, you're male or female. So, um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do this. Actually, you can actually change your hands to, uh, your arms, um, from being male to female, uh, in your settings. I'm curious to know if, uh, if if you change to a female hand if the email changes for whatever reason. I don't know. I think that would be kind of funny. Um, but no, that is completely ridiculous. Uh, women are perfectly capable of getting their hands dirty. All of you females are amazing. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing and do not listen to people like Bella Rose. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, you're so awesome at what you do and we couldn't exist without you and um, your ability to get your hands dirty from time to time. <laughs> but yeah, so we're building a pergola for this lady. Um, actually, I don't like where I placed that. Can I sell this? Oh, what? Oh no, am I gonna have to start this over again? That's a bug. I'm leaving this in. Oh my God, I'm leaving this in. That's nuts. I'm going to have to start this job over. Oh, that's hilarious. Back to the office. <laughs> Let's not save this. Okay, round two. <laughs> We're going to do this again. And hopefully not run into any bugs. So I didn't like where I placed it. Because um, it was kind of clipping through the hedges there. So I'm going to move it a little bit closer. I do run into an issue sometimes of where the pergola is actually being placed. Um, because sometimes... I end up placing it over the stone over here, and then in that case, it, it was in the back, uh, in the hedges, and whoops, I don't want to do that. Um, we're going to build it again, and hopefully <laughs> this time, let's make sure we don't put it over the stone over there, and let's make sure we don't put it in the, um, <laughs> in, the uh, in the hedges back there. But yeah, I'm assembling it this way, because I assume more likely more often than not, you're going to be coming out the back door to the pergola, so it would kind of be a straight shot to, you know, get there. Um, but also, if you're coming from garden area, you kind of have a, a nice little opening there as well. But no, I had no idea this was going to happen this way. <laughs> How unpredictable. Okay, I like, I like this now. I like where this is. <sighs> so now, here's the part that's going to drive me crazy. Okay. I'm going to need you guys to work with me here. Um, I cannot follow the shadow and I need to, I need to remember that. Um, because this is not going to be centered. 
Maybe it is. Maybe I did it. I mean, that looks kind of centered. It looks centered enough to not completely drive me crazy, but... Oh my gosh. I did this... When I did this the first time... Y'all... <laughs> I was just not happy with it at all. Um, let me at least try to center the chairs, too. Oh, I should have bought many. I always forget to do that. I had such a hard time the first time I did this because things weren't centered. And um, that just drives me crazy. That drives me up the wall. Kind of like with Marco's bunker in the last episode, I was having a really hard time. I don't know if you guys could tell, but um, <laughs> I was having a really hard time with the stuff on the shelf. Um, the, just, the, f the, the fact that it wasn't organized just... I don't know. Okay, are we are we done? Have we not completed this gazebo? <gasps> Have we Is the bug following me? Oh no. So what's going to happen now? Wait, do I Oh, this is going to be awful. I'm going to build a second one and see if it actually clears. But you know, you know what? Because this is Bella's um Task and she's weird, um, <laughs> darling. We can't, we can't complete it. Oh no! Well, this isn't gonna be a hundred percent. Let's watch this shrink down again. <laughs> That's so terrible. I'm never doing this again. This is cursed. We're not. <laughs> we're not gonna do this again. This is cursed, Bella. You're just gonna have to. This is what you get for asking a man to do the task. You should have asked a woman. <laughs> Those before and after pictures were terrible. Oh my gosh. Actually, you can't get a lot of money from doing that job, but I'm afraid to go back there anymore. <laughs> that was nuts. So, oh my gosh. I don't even know what happened. Like, we weren't able to sell it, and so we left and we came back, and we weren't able to build it. Like, it didn't even count it. Oh, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Has anybody run across that before, playing this game? I wonder if Pergola is just i i want to go into like another job and try to build a pergola and then see if it um if it disappears correctly um i don't want to do that in the next one i want the next one to actually look right so so we're going to do john walker's job this time substrates for liquors instead of flowers hi there mommy left for a few months when she returns i will tell her that the flowers unfortunately rotted because i watered them too often in the meantime, you have to cut them down and plant my favorite plants. Quinces? I don't know how to say that. Wine, grapes, etc. You can leave the flowers that are in the front of the house so that she won't notice anything when she returns. All of her flowers from the backyard have to disappear. That's my spot. Hope you can do that, can't you? See ya. What is up with these people and their family? Why are they doing this? <laughs> Why are they doing this to these poor, poor people? Um, okay, so I'm in the front of her house. I guess they do want me to at least remove weeds. So since this is a mowing task, you could actually mow all of these flowers down. And I'm not going to do that because this woman, his mommy, has uh, spent so much time on her yard, on her garden, that I... This, this, guy's, this guy's just mean. This is one of those tasks that morally I just don't, I don't want to do. <laughs> kind of similar to, uh, you know, the mother-in-law situation. Um, morally, like, I feel bad about it. It's, it's identified as a weed, even though I believe these are all the flowers that she planted. Oh, this is so bad. <sighs> She's going to come back. She's going to see everything is gone. Maybe... Maybe I could just leave a note for her. Maybe I could just say, hey, um, <laughs> leave it anonymous. Just be like, hey, so your son called and um, asked me to do this for him. 
I would have left your plants alone, but you know, it's for the money. I have mouths to feed, um, my own. Uh, but he, um, <laughs> he asked me to do this. It wasn't my, it wasn't my decision at all. At all. <laughs> all right, I can change the speed. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're going to mow all this down. <laughs> P.S. I did have a little bit of fun <laughs> in the process. My mom loves to garden. I could never, I would never, ever tell someone to cut down her plants so that I could drink. There's a lot of sweat and tears and blood in this, uh, in this poor lady's, um, in this poor lady's garden. You know, wait until you get your own place, and then you can do whatever the heck you want. I don't need to mow any of this down. I just don't know where I can plant this. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to move when you're carrying something. Is this outside? Is this out of bounds? No, it's not. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can plant these here. We don't have to mow anything else down. That's good. So we'll do two of these. But yeah, so we went from uh, having to completely clean out and redesign the house of someone who absolutely had no right to disrespect her aunt. And then we had a guy who wanted to put his mother-in-law in the cold, in the cold and damp of a bunker. And now we have this guy who wants to destroy his mom's garden so that he can drink. <laughs> like, this guy is also terrible. Why would you do this to your mom? This is your mother. It's your mom. Oh my gosh. She's not even, she doesn't even seem like a rotten person. This is your mom. Oh, I made these uneven. Oh well, it's okay. We don't like John. Not even worried. This isn't Eve Eveline's garden. This is somebody who really shouldn't be treating his mom this way. I can barely see the green, like the green outline. And whoa, oh, I keep forgetting I have to move the plants to dig and then it shows up on the mini map and it just looks crazy. Like I didn't even try, but no, I tried. <laughs> it's still uneven, but I tried. <laughs> okay, <sighs> so we're finished planting his grapes. Um. I mean, I don't even remember the email. How is he going to explain all this? All this new stuff in her yard? I mean, I'm sure she's going to have plenty of questions. Um, I certainly would. Cor Cornus Moss? I know about Cornus Chips. See, I don't even know how to pronounce... What are, what are flowers? What are plants? I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what any of these do. I don't know what they are. Um... Someone please explain them to me. Is anybody out there a gardener? Actually, those trees are kind of pretty. What is this? What is this? Is that a fruit? Is that some kind of fruit on that tree? I don't know. Huh. Kind of pretty. Oh, boy. How many of these do we need? Wait. Three. Okay. I'm just going to, like, spread these out kind of just random. The gardens I like are kind of the, you know, the random ones. You know, there really is no rhyme or reason, no symmetry. You know, you just kind of put the plants wherever you want to. Like a wild garden, kind of. Um, I think a lot of people do that. Um, but, you know, in a vineyard situation, of course, like this guy, you would want everything in rows. Okay, so I like black currants. Oh, so these are currants. Okay. Um, I like red ones. I don't think I've ever eaten a currant. This is this is not going to look good. <laughs> these before and after pictures are going to look so bad. Uh, but you know what? Like I said, I don't feel bad. Nope. This is another rotten person treating his family poorly and he's not going to get the best He's, he, he deserves to get in trouble. 
And that's exactly what's going to happen when his mom shows up. When his mommy shows up. At least this garden is done. And see, this is kind of the stuff I like. This is this is the layout that I like. Just kind of big and full bloom and beautiful. And um, what if I just took, took a mower to these right now? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not, <laughs> not going to do it. If you guys want, really want me to, I could uh, as a, a, add it as an um, extra clip to maybe another video. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it now. We, we like his mom. We just don't like John. So, you know, I was going to say that those before and after pictures didn't look so bad. Um, but that was probably because half of them were of the garden that existed already. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this was a short episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed finding that bug with me that I didn't even know existed. This was this was crazy. I've, I've done that um, twice. Uh, so this was the third time that I did it. And I never had to sell it um, after I assembled it. So to see that bug happen was really interesting and i hope that the developers look at that and they know that it's in the game i hope that it doesn't happen all the time um but yeah it might be something to look into but um that's not for me to do i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um if you did please leave a like and a comment down below and i'll catch y'all next time